Oh nice, 22 Newton meters. Oh hey guys, I was just showing Lewis how to talk up a spark plug with a torque wrench. He doesn't know how. <laughs> thanks, thanks Laura, and um, <laughs> welcome to Whiteland Restorations, where we're learning all about talking these days. She does far too much of it normally. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, in today's episode, we are going to get this lovely engine on this Talbot running. running. We're going to get it running. Man, it's been too long. I'm too excited. We had a excited. lot of requests to split up the episodes into getting it running and then finishing off the bodywork. Yeah. So in this episode, let's get it running. And if anyone out there knows what size battery this thing takes, please let us know because we, can't find we cannot find a battery that fits in that hole. The one on the black one, custom made. Yeah, custom made. There must made. be one off the shelf. There must be a battery off the shelf, unless there isn't any more. Maybe. Anyway. Let us know. We're going to use jump leads and our own batteries. Yes we are. Yeah. So right uh, let's get on with it. Let's get prepped. Let's go! We have a timing kit to install. Yeah. We have ignition to sort out. Got our radiator to put back in. Wet stuff, dry stuff, oily fuel stuff, stuff and oily stuff. stuff, slippery stuff. We're going to get it running and um, that's it, isn't it really? That's it. Yeah. Just that's the first episode getting it running. Uh, we have a lovely example of a, of a perfect engine bay of a Talbot, which I'll just show you now. Um, we're going to copy, for, gonna yeah, copy, copy this in. car. We, yeah. we, 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 if we don't know where something goes, we can go and have a look yeah. at what it should be like. Exactly. Yep. So, uh, first job of the list is ripping out this AccuSump system. Yep. It doesn't need it, it has to go. Let's go on and get it done. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my oil is going to blurt out. Yeah. None. I think this needs replacing. What's this? Oh yeah, that needs replacing. is going under the car. What can you see? It's um it's got a lot of under seal on it. That's good. I can see the uh oily brush marks on the front lip. Yeah the grease. Yeah. Gearbox is got oil on it. Protective layer of oil. Yeah I think it's all got a protective layer of something on it. Right then, um, what am I snipping? You are snipping giant oil feed tube out. This one. Hold on, I'll wiggle it for you. Okay, this mm. one, this, yeah. yeah, that big fat one. This one here, yeah. we are removing, it is the oil line for the AccuSump. And look, looks like it's been temporarily zip tied on just at the edge. So we will cut that off.
what makes you think that we haven't been under the ramp for a while? Uh, we're growing a mushroom farm under the ramp. Oh my god. Have you ever seen anything so gross? Does anyone know what kind of ramp, uh, <laughs> ramp mushrooms these are? Are these the edible kind? These are uh, super rare ramp mushrooms. Look at them. Oh my god. Lewis, we've got a problem. I know what you're doing on Monday. <laughs> the off. guy who was going to own it came over and helped us put it together and we were just in, in amongst, the zone, in the zone you, know? Yeah. you know what it's like. Um, so the tiny belt is on and, and the tensioner needed a full strip down and rebuild. So it's retensioned. It is now working mm -hmm. and it's timed up and it turns over and turns over by hand. We haven't cranked it no. with power yet. So the next mission on this car is get the auxiliaries on. Mm -hmm. Get the auxiliaries on. Get, <laughs> get the air intake back bolted down. Get that bolted down. And get the fuel rail back bolted up. And then the radiator and stuff, I suppose. And the radiator and stuff. Get it. Get it all back together again. Yeah. Let's get just it all get back it all together. Back together. Well, by the end of this, time. by the end of this episode, um, we should get it running. So. Fifty p. Well, yeah, I edit it, so I'll be running. <laughs> <laughs> right then, come on, let's start getting all the pieces back together. Okay. It's it's going to be fun. Let's start with um, this. The sucky blowy bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my god, that is so Ready for the first cranking of this engine in six years. Uh, do you think it's going to start? I know it's going to start. I've got a good feeling. 
Well, everything's pointing in the right direction. I mean, nothing's gone conk yet. No, so we're all right. Um, all the leads are on. We're not going to know until we try. We're not going to know until we try, so let's... Should we give it a go? Who's turning the key? I'm turning the key. You're turning the key, dude. I'm turning the key. Do we have ignition? <gasps> there's lights! There's lights Ooh, on the dash! There's lights on the dash, that's good news. Right. I can hear something. That's a fuel pump. That's bloody wipers! God. Wipers. Wipers were going to I thought that was a fuel pump. So did I! Right. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Come on, Let's start go. it. Okay, everything's turning all right. It's turning fine. It's turning very slow. I think there's much power in that battery. I smell. Okay. I smell the smell. Why are these wipers on again? You keep turning them. I don't think there's enough power in this battery. Look how slow they're going. Okay. Negative is on. That should crank over. A, well, hopefully it cranks over better. Okay, we have lights. Are we ready? Yeah. It's not firing. I'm not smelling any fuel. I smell a weird smell. Should we pull a plug and. Check the plugs. Let's pull a plug. Dry. Dry smell spark it. smell. Mm. Dry spark plug. Still looks like it came out of the packet. And we have spark because we've tested that. Yeah. So fuel. Fuel. Let's check through the old fuely system. Have we got fuel? I did put some in it. It probably hasn't come through enough. Maybe. <laughs> right. Don't stand back like that. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, stop. stop. That was a bad place to put my that phone. That was a bad place to put a phone. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. This here has not been connected to that in there. Lewis! Let's do that. Right. <laughs> Go again. Oh. It fire straight into lights. It's going it's to fire straight up now. You put all the bloody leads on, mister. A little bit, but a few tweaks though, and that's as that's awesome. Oh my god, I can't believe it's working! Right, um, oh, that's so success! Exciting. Can't wait for blasting down the road. Let's get it all back together mechanically, and then all that's left to do is to finish it off cosmetically. Yeah, so at the end of this video, we should have it the radiator and all the bits and pieces back in pretty much buttoned up mechanically wise um, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah like what do you say 
I thought this would be a longer episode, if I'm honest. Well, we don't know what we found because it was a while ago. Yeah, true. See this? This is the gin pot. Hello. Hi, I don't know. Can you see anything? I can see your face. Hi. 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 Just putting this bottom hose in. I don't think that's going to go. No. It's a very strange angle. It's definitely not the right hose for this job. Well, I think this hose here, which was for the bottom radiator hose is completely the wrong hose so there's no more hoses is there no, left so we'll have a look around in the car but if that's the hose for there we're gonna have to go back to the old drawing board all right lewis had a look in his box of spare silicon hose for something similar but you found something even better what did you find i found something yeah that I'll pass you over. fitted like that so that's a pretty good win really what does worry me is this pipe here is from the heater matrix and it goes through to the front and if you look here it kind of yeah that's, that's, that's quite close i don't the, like um, that i don't like it kissing the, 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 the timing belt and that's with this holding it out yeah. here so it needs to be slightly longer so let's have this off and it's and, old and, and it's well, grey. It's, it's, it's is it still supple? It's, it's newer than the rest of the pipes that were replaced. So. Oh, well, anyway, you can see I've started to untake, take, take it off. Yeah, It's out of view anyway. Boop. Boop. Ooh. There we go. Oh yeah. look, it's been take, cut with an angry beaver. <laughs> They are good. Oh, Do you know what? So They're so easy to use. Do you reckon it took a finger off? Yeah, go over the top. If we go over the top, it'll get it away from this. Um, the alternator. The alternator, which I think probably a good idea. It's time to fill the water system, and we have got a gadget for that, haven't we? Yeah, what don't you have a gadget for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this makes it so easy to bleed your radiator and your cooling system. Take your cup off and get this. This is a non-spill funnel, and it's so handy for bleeding water systems. Now, you get loads of adapters for loads of different cars. This is this one. You get your bung to go in the radiator, push that in. You get your cap to go on the radiator. Tighten it on, nice and tight. And you get a funnel with a bung. You put your funnel in the top, fill this funnel up, run the car, and it'll pull water through, let all the air rise to the top. And when you're finished, you just stick your plunger in and you can take 
the whole funnel away without spilling anything. Put your cap back on. We'll show you how it works. It's so good. So good. So, I say we start filling it. Put some water in. Water, yep. Yeah, distilled water and coolant. Let's go. Okay, probably not. Mm -hmm. It's getting full this way. <laughs> what a funny noise! <laughs> That's hilarious! It's like he's talking to us. Right, we're bleeding the cooling system, so we have to figure out how to open this heating matrix up. Oh, there we go. Hot. Up and down. Job's good and We've adjusted the timing. So let's give it another fire. And we'll pull this. Let's just give it another fire and then we'll pull, pull the, this out. Pull the doodah, yeah. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'll hold the battery. Three, two, one. <laughs> She sounds so nice. Look at that. That disgustingness came out. You could see it coming up, you know. This is why this is a flush one, isn't it? Yeah, she needs a good flush. Good flushing. We do have, we have an oil leak down in there on that um, tea piece thing. And we have a water leak um, off of that, that one. Let's put thing right. There, in there, that one in there. Bit of a water leak in there. Okay. Not too bad, really. Right, this um. is the beauty of this funnel now, though. You're finished, mm. you block the hole. Just take it out. Look at that. And then you could put it over your antifreeze tub and pour it all back in. No spill. No cry. No cry. There we go, let that cool down, we need to rinse that all out. And then, I'm going to leave that cool down as well because it's hot. Yeah, she's cool. Uh, she's cool? She's cool. She's cool, she's, she's well cool. cool. She's running nicely. Um, yeah, might need a few more tweaks timing-wise. And But you know what? The airbox got to go back on. And having an exposed timing belt just scares the crap out of me. <laughs> but that's how it was. There's a solution to that. Don't look at it. No, put the bonnet back on and finish the cut. Sell it. <laughs> um, anyway, um, that Definitely was really an oil successful. Leak there. Um, right, it has coolant, a few things to tweak, and then next episode. Hi. Voila! 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 It runs, it runs, and it runs, and it runs. 
little tweak. Runs all day. Yeah, it's We've, it's good, good to go. We found a place to get a custom fitted battery. Um, custom made I don't know battery. if you're aware, but this took a, quite a while to get the video done. It might have been only a 20 minute video, but um, a few outfits in that time. <laughs> taken us a few spare odd hours here and there. We've been squeezing it in, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, here and there. Um, so that's the mechanical episode done. Basically, yeah, we just um, we didn't get it. We, we didn't get into it too deep. We we put it back together to honest, and to the key. Room. I thought we were going to have a lot more problems than we yeah. did. Yeah, me too. Touch wood. It went quite smoothly. It so was good. That's it's it's ready to go for a full recommission now, isn't it? What is this? When it goes to its new owner, they can. They won't. do won't do anything with it. He's just going to drive it <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Thank, Body work. Thank, good, thanks for watching. Um, next episode, we're going to be just buttoning it up. Button it up. Button it up. Give it a final wash and polish. Show Clean you how to align a bonnet properly. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Glass in. Glass in. Final polish. Maybe a quick wipe down inside. Um, oh, we'll push the boat out. If you liked watching this program, um, subscribe. It yeah. would mean the world to us. We Huge love help, subscribers. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. I mean, it would it would help us out so much. We're trying to trying to get our channel out there, get more people. Share it with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it too. Subscribers. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. 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 Subscribe, please. <laughs> right then. See you next week when we do some other stuff. Bye. Girl, I saw you staring at me from the other side. And I don't know about you, but I got butterflies. Dead.